how did I make the centerpiece of, of, for the propeller for rubber band planes? It's the propeller mount. There it is without a propeller from the back. And I made it out of I made it out of one of these little babies. Now this is Australia. It's Eastern Australia where we get these. Anywhere else in the world, well, if you don't get these, you just have to ignore the video because I've never seen anything like these things as resembling the front of an aeroplane. The old radial engine planes, that is. Like that. Now, from that, we have that. And you just pop it off, you unscrew it, you just unscrew it, it comes off. And that's what it looks like when it comes off. You've got a bit of paraphernalia there around it, of course. And you have to cut it. And you can, if you want to use the whole thing, you have to ram a bit of tube up it so you can use it uh, for, a, for a propeller mount. But I've cut that, that's not the original depth. That's, that's a lot deeper. Originally, you can see this one here. Even cut it more fine. There it is. You may have to cut a fair bit off. And if you cut it, because then you've got a thing to, to, to ram in the hole, to stick in the hole of the plane, you know, like I show you. That one's a bit different, but here's the hole, you put it in and just ram that part up the hole. And this has got the part already there. And this one I cut it straight through accidentally, or didn't know how to do it. it wasn't working it out. It wasn't developed properly then, you know, it was more developed now. You don't do that, you don't cut it straight through there, like that. Or oh, you get a bit better in. You don't cut it straight through like that. No, only down to the to that centre bit and leave the centre bit and cut it. What you have to cut to get it off, you know, and clean it up. And inside here, I've got a bit of carbon fibre. It's limited by a little bit of tape around. It's a bit rough, but works. And the carbon fibre goes through there. So it's rammed up the. It's rammed up. It's, in, in the hole there, I drew the hole, it's a little bit too small for the carbon fibre to fit in, you ram it up and it's really jam it in there. And then, on the other side, to adjust your down thrust, you adjust, you adjust the angle of it, of the little bit of carbon fibre, to adjust your down thrust, I just put a bit of um, masking tape in there, crump, crumpled up, I crumpled it up on the sticky side out, and it's a bit hard to do, and once it's on the sticky side out, it all sticks to it. Or and just put as much as like in there to make sure it's stable, it stays at the right angle you, what you want it for your down thrust. You see, it's an easy way to do it, and it stays there it's pretty good. You put it on the opposite side is what you want your down thrust. You know, so you push, so it's pushing on it. You see, and so it's forcing the prop down all the time. Now, that's how you make it. You got your prop thing, like that, and you got what it looks like on the plane. 